the one thing that I think team a lot of people don't want to mention this, but a lot of things that T-Mobile are doing to save money is they've stopped investing in their LTE. They're willing to widen the PCS channels, but they're mm-hmm. not really upgrading LTE much. Right. As opposed to, I think, AT&T and Verizon, which are still really bolstering the foundation of their network coverage. Like, what has mm-hmm. what has created the legendary Verizon Network's coverage? You know, and what has created the newfound glory of the AT&T's group metrics performance and you know all this 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 all these gains in the mapping it's been LTE it has not been 5G mm-hmm. you know so hey if if the nation's top two networks are LTE based why would why would anybody want to abandon that and you know, we you still know, just see the, them investing in LT, Moose, for AT&T and Verizon. Yeah, CRAN, right, the small cells. Um, and it goes to show you how long LTE is going to stay uh, in the market. It's easily going to be till 2020, sorry, till 2030, 2035. It has a long run rate. I mean, think about 3G. When did 3G start, you know? 3G started in like 2009, eight. <laughs> super long time so no it was even longer than that wasn't it moose i i remember uh, my blackberry was 3g that might have been like 06 yeah i mean the 07 <clears throat> was when the original iphone came out but that was edge then the iphone 3g came out in 20 2008 so yeah let's say 2008 yeah so 